Hello everyone. I'm here with an unboxing video today. I got my newest Citrus Twist kit and I'm ready to open it. I do have to say check out the box or the envelope. It's a little mangled so I'm kind of scared to open this. I hope that the stuff inside isn't wrecked because I think when the mail person put it in the box it just kind of like shoved it in there without thinking. So I don't know. We'll see if anything's damaged but I hope not. So with this month's kit, I was super busy with a bunch of stuff at work and then I took a trip. So I was traveling. So I didn't get a chance to look at anything when they do their little sneak peek. So this one is really going to be a surprise because I have no idea <laughs> what's in there. So I hope it's good. All right, we're going to throw that away. So far, this looks okay. It doesn't look like anything's too bent. So that's good. All right, we'll pull everything out of here. And if you've never seen a Citrus Twist kit, this is how they come. You always get it in a cute little pouch here. It's a little tough to get it out of here sometimes. Ooh, I see a pretty alpha. Or words, maybe. Okay. So there we go. Pull all that stuff out. And then you have a nice empty pouch when you use everything. So let's see. The name of this one is called Here at My Table. Gathering Place for Friends Become Family. Okay. Initially, I have to say I'm a little worried. If this is like Thanksgiving themed, I'm in trouble. We are not huge Thanksgiving people. Um, so if it's all themed around that, I may have trouble using some of this. But we'll just see. We never know what is in these kits. So right away, I saw this in there too. It says... Oh no, they're basically including something extra because they misspell the word on the chipboard. And so here's the chipboard. Stuff of life, babe, more of this, less of this, this is you. Oh, right here. <laughs> they forgot the N in conversations. It says conversations. Okay, well, at least they caught it and they included something else. But that's kind of a bummer. Um, so what do I get here? Oh, conversations wood chip piece. So it's a wood veneer somewhere. I didn't actually see that, but hopefully it'll be in here somewhere. Um, so here's the rest of the chipboard. Now these are pretty simple phrases. They don't speak Thanksgiving to me really. So that's good. I love this one. It's got the food plate and I can I'll always use food stuff like for my travels because I, I like to eat at new places when I travel. So I'm sure I can make use of these. Then we have some other stickers here, and I love these. Citrus Twist does awesome puffy stickers. So I'm glad to see that they're still including these in pretty much every kit because they're one of my favorite things about getting the monthly kit. So most of these are plain. There's a couple with some patterns, just stripes, and then a couple with words. So these will get used no problem. Not worried about that. So I'm going to move these over here. Let's take a look at our other stickers this time. So this is a lovely tiny alphabet here, a lovely kind of very light aqua color with a gold foil on it. Love these. These are great for pocket scrapping because you need smaller letters. Sometimes, you know, I've gotten other kits and the letters are just too huge for what I would normally do. So this is awesome. And then these are, oh, these are words. No, I think they're supposed to go this way. So lovely, fabulous, together, shine this. Now I will say some of these are pretty big. So if I were going to use these, I'd probably only be able to use them like in a four by six pocket. Or if I were doing like a six by eight layout, I could maybe do it on a full six by eight page. But these, since I don't do 12 by 12 anymore, these would be a little bit tougher for me to use. So I'll, I'll get creative with those. And then there are just some borders. And then here's another one that says dream. I'm sure I can make them work. I just have to think a little harder about it. And now we will look at the embellishments and the stamps. So here are the embellishments. So together, beautiful, simply this. Those aren't overly Thanksgiving themed. So that's good. I'm confused kind of as to where's the um, around the table or at the table theme. I don't see too... Too much of that yet. Yeah. Oh, here, full on gratitude. Bloom of grace. So we laughed until we cried. These aren't overly holiday themed. So 
that's an okay thing. They seem kind of random, actually, some of the phrases. So I'm sure some of these I could work into my travels and some of them will just go into my normal book. I do very much like the color scheme. I like that there's kind of some pink and maybe yellowy, you know, orange in there and this lighter blue. So that's good. I'm sure I will use most of these. And now let's look at the stamps. Ah, here's where the table slash food thing comes in. Okay, so here for the fun food, pumpkin spice latte, eat, stay and eat yummy. Okay, I'm digging these. <laughs> this kind of food theme I can get behind because I could use it for anything, really. I love pumpkin all year round, so it doesn't have to just be fall or winter. And the rest of these, I could totally use these in my scrapping. In fact, the trip I just took was to Philadelphia. And my friend and I basically ate our way through Philly. Um, we found some really great restaurants. We really enjoyed trying the cuisine there. So these will definitely get used. I'll use them in other places too, but definitely for Philly. And maybe I'll even work them into Boston and New York. So we didn't have as great of meals there. It was a lot of eating on the go during that trip. But I'm sure I can work it in somehow. So here are the papers now. And four by six cards. So what is this here? Oh, we got a three by three by eight one this time. This is beautiful. Love this. Now this is a little bit because it was right in the middle where that was folded. But if I put something heavy on it and lay it flat, I'm sure it'll be fine. So isn't it always about the food? I think my soulmate might be carbs. I never want to look back and think I could have eaten that. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> oh, can I work this in for Philly? This would be awesome. I, I think the colors might even work. I haven't looked through all of my photos yet. I haven't processed them all, so to speak. But I would love to be able to use this. That's awesome. All right, so we'll look at the card since I already have a three by eight card there before I do the paper. So that's a beautiful floral. These are the days. That's pretty. I like it. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Yum. Eat pure comfort. This is awesome. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll find a way to use it. And this is embrace the simple quiet life. Nope, that's not happening. I'm using that one for sure. And then you always get labels in their kits, which I love. And look at these colors. They are perfect for this kit. Come on. I love it. I will use all of these guaranteed. All right. So now let's look at the papers, a lovely blue floral. And again, I just noticed, look at that. The paper got bent right here, but hopefully again, if I put something heavy on them, that will work itself out. And if they lay flat long enough, it should be okay. So there is a lovely blue floral there and it's that gorgeous lighter blue look at how it looks with this piece of paper well actually both of these but really this those colors gorgeous those are gorgeous matches love it i always love a nice yellow so this is awesome for me ah this is the same as what's on the back of this three by eight so if you like that oh it's, is it the same it is it's just smaller so if you like that you're gonna like this paper love this this is great for fall i also don't mind a nice orange tone so that's okay by me lovely purple with leaves here and you know what i think i already know how i can use this out front of the rodin museum in philly there's a lovely courtyard garden with a reflecting pool and they had some purple flowers that were still blooming when we were there so that might go for that just a nice black and white pattern here use that with anything Ooh, a little bit of a weathered pattern actually there are two patterns in here this might be cool for the art museum the Barnes museum well or the Philadelphia Museum of Art the, the color goes more with what I saw at the Barnes we'll see another lovely floral so this might actually end up getting saved till spring but we'll see this is just kind of a basic background pattern you can use it with lots of stuff i'm digging the purple i'm a purple person and there's not enough purple in scrapbooking in my opinion so this is fantastic i will work this in somewhere and then i don't know if the camera can pick this up very well it's a very subtle pattern 
just some diamonds in there. This might be good for some architecture photos. Uh, Boston, maybe, or Philly. I don't know. Lots of options. So happy with the papers and the 4x6 cards, so let's go on to the 3x4. Here are the 3x4 cards. I love this one right here because it's about food and it's yellow. So if they are all in this vein, I'm probably going to be a happy girl. A new season? New. No. I'm using this one. Absolutely. Cute little pear and apple there. Courage above fear. <gasps> this is awesome because actually on the trip that I just took to Philly, my friend and I had a long conversation about being brave and traveling because she's just started getting traveling with me. And I was saying, you know, you're totally capable of traveling alone. I do it all the time. She can do it too. And I said, you know, I travel alone and sometimes it is scary. But I will never let fear win over my enjoyment. So I will, I would rather be brave and just go about my business and see what happens. So I love this. Maybe I'll have to write a little story there. Oh, keeping good company. And this, these flowers are gorgeous. I was made for this. Mm, I'll probably use this side, I think. Hee <laughs> hee, spoon and fork. I love it. Again, I can use this for more food photos from my trips. Having the best time with family friends. Uh, I do like this side, but I can almost guarantee it's going to be this side that gets used. Take it slow or remember this. Mm. Might be this one just because we did a lot of slower walking on this trip. Uh, it wasn't as hectic of a pace as New York, <laughs> for sure. So maybe I'll use that one in Philly. Little heart there. They built a life they loved. Mm, both sides of this are good. I'll probably end up using this one, maybe. Together, family, friends, home celebration. Oh, I like this one. Probably friends. I'm thinking... I just went to a flower show exhibit not long ago with my friends, and so this might work out very well. Right now, I don't know, that's a good one too. Black and white is always good. This is super fun. I like this. I could maybe use this on my trip too to talk about little points or favorites of things that I saw. Love the colors. Oh, and there are the flowers again, but I'll probably use this side. And then gathered around the table together. This is cool. I'm thinking Philly because we actually had a French bakery right across the street from our Airbnb and I bought croissants and had coffee and we took it back to our apartment. So that would be cool because I could talk about that and sitting around the table there. Current mindset. Nope. Nope. It's going to be this one. I love that croissant. That is so cool. All right. So I was a little nervous initially about the theme of this kit, but it turned out okay. Lots of stuff here I can use on my travel still, which is kind of my first priority with what I'm strapping. And lots and lots of goodies. Absolutely love this stamp set. This is probably my favorite, my favorite part of the kit right there. And some good embellishments and lots of stickers in this one. So another great kit from Citrus Twist. Thanks for watching.